a little encouraging news out here in my t-shirt and shorts because uh, I came out to fill the tank up and it hit 12C while I was out here. May have done this today on its own, um, I'm unsure. But point being, it went into low mode, it was just kind of chilling, and I bet when this drops down to 10, it'll ramp up. I have no idea what the algorithm's like, so we'll find out. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to see it happen, but eh, I'm not sure I'll be out here at all tonight. Either way, top the tank back off. Uh, I had filled this to five gallons exactly, and it was a brand new can, so it's still got, man, eh, it's hard to see. I can't see, but by, like, just by feeling it, eh, I feel like there's at least half a gallon still in there, so... This probably, it says 10 liter, but I bet it only holds two-ish, maybe two and a quarter gallons. Either way, we'll let this thing run at 6 p.m. when I filled it, and it's getting a head start because the garage is already heated. We'll just see in 24 hours in a normal average winter for this area, which is like 25 to 30 degrees, sometimes 32, uh, how it keeps up. There's the fuel use check-in, still at 11. It's been cycling on and off, which is good. Uh, using a little bit less now at the garage is the temperature. And you can see, eh, he's about a quarter tank, and that's in 12 hours. So when I get home from work tonight, we'll top off again. And I think the the next step will be to, to do a 24-hour run with it just set lower, right? Try to keep it above freezing, because 8, well, 11's in the 50s, is it? 50-something? So maybe we'll knock it down and try to keep it right around wherever 40F is. But I'll have to look it up because I, you know, I can't math in my head right now. Um, yeah, it's still working well though. It's not making any funny sounds. I stole the temperature sensor from my son's room and it says it's 57 in here. So I think it takes a little while to adjust. It might lower because this says 12C for the actual temperature. And then our, you know, our set point was 11. And 24 hours have passed, it's 6 p.m. And that's almost exactly half a tank. So we could get away with leaving it, but what I want to do is top it off. And then I'm going to turn that down to like 6C. So it'll be, what is that, low 40s, like 43 or something like that. Um, and just see how much fuel it uses there. Because if it stays on low more often, we'll use a lot less. What I'd really like to see is if I only have to fill that can once a week, I'm kind of okay with that. That'd be around 40 bucks a month, I think. Something along those lines. No, it'd be more than that. It'd be like 50. Either way, not 90. And it'll keep things nice in here. Because right now, I could take the sweatshirt and stuff off. I only put on pants because I'm going to the gas station and I don't need the attention, so. Oh, probably not a bad idea to mark this because I'm going to... Um, so there's our first experiment. It'll be a little bit biased because it did... It's 42 out right now. Like, out of nowhere. I left in the morning and we were 27 degrees and by afternoon it got nice and hot. Uh, it's in Fahrenheit for, obviously, <laughs> if it was 40C we'd be in trouble. All right, so sensors still showing like 56, 57-ish. Um, this is showing 13, even though our set point's 11. So it's probably been on low for a long time. It's just creeping, barely using any fuel because it's so warm out. Um, I think it's going to cool off tonight, at least. So... We're gonna go ahead and turn our set point down. Just why don't you go below eight? Okay. Well, our lowest setting is eight. <laughs> that's our that's our range, huh? Test number two, uh, running it on low essentially because it's 12 C in here. It ended up high of 44 today, which is normal for this state. So it'll cool down a little bit this weekend, but not much. And really, we're getting into the part of the year where it gets super cold and then it's warm again and it's super cold and i don't think i'll be running this 24 7 like i intended it's just too expensive if i'm not in here working but i do think if there's any really super cold days like under 25 mm, we'll keep an eye on it and see what the garage temp is i'd like to keep it above freezing inside the garage but eh. It shouldn't be too bad if I do it that way. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the mower and the quad out. I'll just leave the deck for now. Um, 
and when the blades come in, I can just pull it back up, put the blades on and get it out of here. But for now, it's I've been accumulating too much shit and I need to clean up a little bit. And it'll be easier to do with those two vehicles out of the way, free up the floor space. And I'll go get the big torpedo heater too and pump that thing on tonight and see how warm it gets in here in short order. Well, it finally dipped back below 30 overnight. So right now it's 27 outside. The garage has kind of cooled off. The heater hasn't been on in a day and a half at least. Well, yeah, I shut it off two nights ago and now it's a morning. So yeah, day and a half. Um, and apparently this is right because I have the thermostat's temperature sensor, which says it's 41. And this says that it's 5, which is 41, essentially. So happy with that. I think we'll go... Uh, I had to do a little surgery on the torpedo. All right, then that heater is roughly 17,000 BTUs from what I read. Um, and this one's 100,000. So it'll do a lot better job heating the garage up quickly, but you're pulling all those fumes in here too. So what I normally do, we'll get it set up, is I'll crack a garage door open so at least it's burning outside air and not burning the inside air. Maybe it helps a little bit. And then once it's toasty in here we'll flip that heater on and do a target temp just to keep uh just to keep up and we'll get the door shut of course and then i can start working on this holy hell of a mess in here yeah, i've got some bulk of stuff out of the way garbage and whatnot the heater's been going uh time is it? it's going 40 minutes so in 40 minutes we brought interior temp of the garage up to 53 on that sensor and 10 c on this one we got this guy going too because why not more heat more better and i'm starting to get kind of sweaty with a hoodie on so we're gonna make our set point 12 like we did the other night that way this thing will run on high for a while and i think this one there we go a little more peace and quiet we'll get the garage door shut keep all this co2 trapped inside with me that's uh that's how we like to do things. Oh, but yeah, that should be good. So now um, I run a little hot, so I can probably go ahead and take my hat off, take my hoodie off, and finish picking up all this garbage. And then we'll check in and see how long it takes for this to top off to 12, and if it goes into low while I'm out here or not. Also, something else that'll help, um, there's probably pretty warm up there, right? Because heat rises. I have a spare ceiling fan in the basement that I forgot about. And I have new LED lights for the ceiling coming on Monday. So when I borrow the neighbor's big ladder to do the lights, I'll slap a ceiling fan right up there to help circulate. It's been an hour been cleaning up the floors and putting tools away. That sensor is still reading 52. Um, I feel fine in a t-shirt because it's me and I'm weird, so you get a little bit of chills from the sweat that's still drying out from earlier, but overall it's a good working condition for me. The heater's still on full blast. We've used up a visible amount of fuel and it still leads time. So I think, yeah, we kind of got lucky with two days of 40 degree plus weather. So it made the heater seem like, you know, maybe it would keep up, but now that it's starting to cool off again, um, it's clear that I'm only going to run it when I'm in here working. And I'm just going to let the garage get cold. And if we end up with some kind of polar vortex and get, you know, negative 5, negative 10 degree F days, then maybe I'll kick it on just to keep stuff from freezing in here. <laughs> 